Okay, here's an example where you can see Ethernet protocol at work. Computers 2 and 5 want to communicate down the network, but because they started at the same time, there's a conflict on the network. They both see this through carrier sense, and both wait to try again. Because they both wait a random amount of time before trying again, Computer 2 starts earlier and is able to transmit its information to Computer 4. Then Computer 5 does its transmission to Computer 1. You can see that this will get complicated if there are a lot of computers on the network. Routers help this congestion by forming particular paths between computers that need to talk to each other. In this case, computers 1 and 5 need to talk to computers 3 and 2, respectively, so the router makes isolated connections with these machines. A moment later, computers 2 and 4 need to connect to computers 1 and 3, and so those new connections are made through the router, meaning that the other machines aren't interrupted by these communications.